Yo, what's good everybody? So today's gonna be like an update video. Um, I got some news on the Subaru, but first we're gonna show you the new daily driver. Alright guys, so this is going to be the new daily driver. It's a 92 Corolla, uh, AE9294 because it's a sedan. But yeah, this is going to be the new daily slash build we're going to be doing. Um, it's red, maroon, uh, different colors, different panels. Um, I did not do a video yet. This is going to be the first video so far on the car. I've already done some work to it just to get it running and stuff just to have it as a daily driver. So I ended up getting these E30 bottle caps right there. Threw some tires on it. Um, I think they're 185, 65, 14s. So they fit pretty nice right now. I ended up doing brakes in the, in the back. I got brakes in the back, brakes in the front. Um, we did oil spark plugs and whatever but yeah this is going to be the new car i put a different door on it this one the other door was kind of dented up as you can see like this fender right here is kind of dented we'll switch that out later but i found this door way cheaper and all the body lines are pretty nice and even um, if we go inside the interior is pretty pretty well clean like can't tell if you can see right now but all the seats are nice. I gotta fix this uh, headliner, it's drooping down. But uh, you can't really see, but all this interior right here, it's pretty clean. I'll probably show you in a different video since it's so sunny outside, but I plan on doing like an aftermarket radio and speaker so you'll get a better view of how the interior looks, but it's pretty nice. It was like a 200 car, so not too bad. The outside's pretty beat, but I guess we'll clean that up somehow this is gonna be the new daily slash build we're gonna have some more videos coming out so just stay tuned for this build and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tight it's got it's pretty much stock right now but once i get done with it it won't be stock anymore yeah so if you guys can see the engine's pretty much it shakes a lot like if i have a bad motor mount but it's actually not getting any compression in that cylinder so I'm gonna have to tear down the engine. Well, I'm gonna tear off the head just to see exactly what's wrong with that side and then we'll see what we have to do with it. 